Lego Logo Lab is, is one of a number of groups here at, the, at MIT's Media Laboratory. And we're all exploring how the computer and various related technologies can, can be used in interesting and different ways to communicate ideas, how the computer can be used as a communicative and expressive tool. We run workshops where we introduce these materials to teachers and children and encourage the teachers to use these materials in classrooms in a real free form and creative way where you know, basically kids can build what they'd like to. They could get an idea for a project, maybe the teacher can provide some theme and then the child can work on his own or in, in a group and develop this idea into their own project. So we're here at the Hennigan School, which is a computers in schools project that's been supervised by the Learning and Epistemology Group at MIT. And we're led by Professor Seymour Papert, who's pioneered um, le the logo language and the use of logo in schools. And what we've got is a high density situation of two computers for every one child. That's 100 computers and 200 kids. There's about 20 teachers in the project. And we're in our third year. We brought all the materials out here set up and helped the teachers get started, you know, giving them guidance as to how to use the machines and how to bring them into their classrooms and integrate the curriculum with the computer work. What this is, is this is the computer controlling the Lego, which, is, which has a marker and is drawing. And what she just did was the movement procedure. And you use the arrow keys for it. And there's also a lot of procedures which, which will work on the computer and the potter. It has a um, string and the string twirls around and the motor starts going on. Then it starts turning around and it lifts the thing up. And like certain beeps of electricity and stuff which tend tell the motors how much to move and what to move. And if you look up there, which you probably can't see, they ha it's, it's the motor turning gears that turn the spool that moves the turtle. So what we have now is this set of materials, which includes all the mechanical parts you see, motors, the building blocks, pl plus sensor devices like the, the counter wheels I mentioned. And there's also touch sensors, so you, you can sense contact of two objects. And we took all those materials and designed an interface to Logo, which is a computer programming language, which is a very natural and sort of freeform language with a lot of English-like commands. This particular drawing it's, it's, a, it's, it's, an, it's going to do is, um, it's called a, I call it a squiral. It's a square spiral. And I'm drawing this only winding one motor at, at a time. And, that, and it, what, what this will generate, if you look at it mathematically, is an orthogonal space where, in terms of the, the plotter, things are at right angles. All the angles you'll see in terms of the plotter, as far as the plotter is concerned, they're right angles. They're orthogonal. They're, they're opposite. It's either the left one or the right one. If you looked at it in terms of Cartesian, it would either be moving left and right or moving up and down. I think this could have a great pedagogical value for, for older kids who are studying geometry. Because normally what you encounter in high school is Cartesian geometry and that's it. And unless you have something to compare something to, it really doesn't have a lot of meaning. They like, they like it because it's something to do other than computers, which we have to do maps and flags and stuff like that, well, a flag of a country may be easy, but a flag of Massachusetts, so those are hard. And on the computer, it takes a long time. But we have a lot of procedures on the computer, because we each have our own account. What do you mean you have your own account? 
where we have a space where all the stuff we do is in one place for one kid. And when we go to the, did you see the circle of computers out there? Well, there are two of those, and you're in one circle, and you say, log in, your, la your f first two letters of your last name, and six letters of your first name. And that, and then it says, it like searches through all the stuff the computer has, and then it says, okay, you're in, and then you do logo. Hey, what's going on here? We're working on the computer. What are you doing with it? Well, well, right now, me and my friend just found out how to make games. 